G'day guys, this is Tia, and welcome back to another Fallout 76 video. In this one, I am going to be hopping on the Fallout 76 PTS, aka Public Test Server, for the first time ever on the channel. If you're excited about this and want to see me do more of these type of videos, then click the like button and drop a comment. I'd love to know if you guys would actually want to see this. But for now, basically what we're going to be doing in this video is going to be hopping into the PTS, into our public world, and we're going to be seeing exactly what Bethesda has added into the game so far for us to mess around with. So far, I think this boils down to three main things. The perk loadouts, the camp loadout thing, and the new daily ops. So we're going to be checking out all of that in this video. Stick around and look down in the comments for the timestamps if you want to see a specific thing. Let's get into it. So as we have just loaded into a brand new public test server world, we've got this on our screen. Special loadouts. Re-specialize any time at a punch card machine. You now have access to special loadouts. This allows you to have completely unique special builds. Access your special loadouts by interacting with the punch card machine, which can be placed in your camp via the crafting tab in the workshop build menu. Punch card machines can also be found at certain locations throughout Appalachia. Awesome. So that's it. We're going to go over to this workstation right here. Or sorry, train station. And I'm assuming that there's going to be one inside. Yep, right here. Here we go. What makes you special? Punch card machine. So just before we actually use this for the first time, here's my PC melee build. 15 strength, 1 perception, 7 endurance, 4 charisma, 3 intelligence, 15 agility, 11 luck. It's a little bit outdated from what I'm currently using on my Xbox. And let's see legendary perks. I'm not that high a level on PC, so I don't have many of them, so cool. Won't matter. What makes you special? Let's give this a go. Okay, so yep, here it is right here, the first special loadout at the top. You can see on the left there, it has all the perks i just shown you guys. Right now it's defaulted to special underscore loadout spe underscore D name. We can rename that with Y for the controller. And uh, get my keyboard out. Gonna name it Melee. Bang. Melee's already sorted, because that's what I originally had. We're gonna set this one as active with the check mark. And this completely respects us. We have 49 points to play around with. Now, I don't actually have the perks because this is purely melee. I pretty much scrapped every other perk, but let's say we want to do a commando. So we're going to get 15 perception, 2 strength for the um, bandolier perk. We're going to leave that endurance as 1. Get this to 3. Get this to 3. 15 agility and 15 luck. 1 extra point, 2 extra points to play around with. Let's pop them in endurance. We're getting attacked. Bam, there's our commando build. And we pull it out right here. Here we go, we've got that as our special thing. Like I said, I don't actually have the perks to put them in here because this is melee. And I scrapped everything else. But you get the idea. If I did have these perks, I could just use whatever they were, whatever I'd planned them out to be, put them in there instantly, and I'm good to go. There's my commando. Let's actually name that as such. Commando. go. We can just switch in between our melee and our commando. That's actually so smooth. That opens up so, so many possibilities. It's, it's crazy. Okay, I can see myself using this very, very efficiently if they actually let us have more than two. I can see myself having all types of variants of heavy gunner builds on my heavy gunner character. All types of melee variants, shotgun variants, pistol variants on my respective characters. Like I said in my original video on this, this whole system does not negate the uh, the benefits of having actual multiple characters. So still having five characters is a fucking good idea, mate. Because now, as it stands right now, having five characters equals having fucking ten builds to play around with. You can just switch between like that. Alright. I've rambled on long enough. Let's uh, let's place this at our camp and actually see what that looks like, and then we'll move on to the next segment. Okay, and here we are at my camp. I don't have anything built here because I don't play PC too often. Let's go into it and find this bad boy. It's over in crafting, right underneath the weapon workbench, right above the tinker's workbench. Place it down, and it's as simple as that. And while we're actually here with it, I forgot to check out something. Still the same. But I forgot to mention, while we are hovering over the one that we have equipped, we can press X, or whatever the uh, correlating button is for you guys, whatever platform you're on. We can edit the uh, the actual special just like that on the fly, accept it, 
and we can actually press A to edit our perk cards for that as well, making it so much more easier and streamlined. Just, it's it's so cool. I, I am so happy with this. So we can select our melee. Can no longer do that to Commando because it's not active. But do the same thing for the melee. Edit everything just on the fly. Super simple, super easy. I am fucking thrilled at this. Like I said, this is going to open up so many opportunities for me personally to show you guys some crazy, powerful, and just downright fun builds to play around with. I'm excited. Okay. All right. But while we're at the camp, Let's uh, let's use that to segue into our next bit of uh, information on the PTS to showcase. Alrighty. Okay, now on to the camps portion of the PTS. So here is my one. It is shitty. It is dinky. There's only that placed. I don't use PC, so yeah. But let's place some things around just for the argument's sake so that we can, uh, you know, see this in the distance. We can watch it disappear when we activate the next one. So yeah, here's my camp. Just, just roll with it. I know it's shit. Just roll with it. Okay. So we're going to look at the map. We see it right here. Camp 1. We can click A on it. Fast travel to it like we normally can. We can rename it. Let's call it Tears Shit Shack. Wrong button. Shit Shack. There we go. Tears Shit Shack. I'm so happy there's no cursing that is uh, censored there. <laughs> uh, public map icon off and on. So it is on right now, you can see it is pulsating, that means that it is now showing for every other player on the server. So if I turn that off, it will not be shown. And in addition to that, we can change the icon to whatever we want to. If we want it to be a bridge, we can have that. If we want it to be a skyscraper, we can have that. Whatever your little heart desires, you can make that the icon. It seems like they've let absolutely everything in the files available to us, even some things like from Fallout 4 with the railroad. Or is it? Yeah, right here. See, like, that's a railroad image. Stuff like that. You can have that if you want. And also, building off of that, now I have a vendor in my camp, and I also have my shelter entrance for the uh, shelters down there. Now that those are actually placed in, you can see that I have two other symbols underneath my camp. You can see that there's the V with the bottle cap, or obviously the vendor, and then the radiation symbol showing that I do have a shelter at my camp. Can't turn those on or off. Basically, if you have them at your camp, it'll show it at your camp, and that's as simple as that. Alright, now moving on to having multiple camps. Alrighty, it's as simple as this. So you can see my camp over there. We're going to do this, go into the map section. You can see in the top left it says Camp Slots. We're going to press down on the D-pad for me on controller to expand it. Tears Shit Shack, as you can see right there, that's Camp 1. Camp 2 is currently unplaced, so what we have to do to activate it is... Clearly, click select on it and activate the camp. This will remove Tears Shit Shack from the map. There we go. But you, I will still be able to see it there as the owner of the camp. It's there, it's just inactive. But it's not actually there in the real world and other players will not be able to see it. But what we can do from here is open our Pip-Boy, move camp, and we can actually place it over here. Now this will allow me to have two camps and I've got them too close to each other. But that's fine, this is all for the purposes of demonstration. So just imagine that I have built this one up as well. We can rename this camp to whatever we want. Let's call it uh, Captain Noob is a, a shit cunt. Yep, that looks good. Alright, but they're going to have to blur that stuff out if they want this to roll out. Because uh, I'm assuming they don't want curse words in this. <laughs> Love you, Cap. <laughs> so we can do all the same stuff, pulsate it so that it shows, change our icons, and if I placed vendors and the uh, the underground shacks, they would show up down there as well. It's as simple as that, and to switch between the both of these camps, we've just got the camp module there, and the other one will render in over there, we can do this. Go into the camp slots menu on the top left, expand it, and we can just choose between them. There we go. Tears Shit Shack is now active. This one disappears from the world, and this one emerges. And don't worry, guys. There's no. There's not going to be any lag camps that are available to. They've they've thought of it. Okay, as you can see right here. Camp not activated. You have activated another camp too recently. So there is a cooldown. You can't just switch between camps and force the server to lag. So and just to recap, here is Camp Two. Captain Noob is a shit cunt. Do all that stuff with it that I mentioned before. Here it is on the map. You can see it in the real world. My other camp is not visible to other players. We're going to expand this. 
deactivate that one and activate the first one. Tears shit shack. This one disappears from the world and this one emerges. It's as simple as that. It is streamlined. It is effective. It is efficient. And I fucking love it. This is going to be great for camp builders and it's going to be great for people that, you know, can't be bothered moving their camps around. Like myself, I have had the same camps in the same exact spots on all five of my characters since beta. Never moved them, never edited them, never done anything too drastic. But now I can experiment and now I can actually have modular camps if I wish to and just move them around with me if I, say, want to bring out a workbench or whatever and I could just use that as my new survival tent sort of thing. So yeah, this opens up a lot of possibilities and I'm excited for it. Anyway, let's move on to the third and final part of the PTS to showcase for you guys, the Daily Ops. So the second Daily Ops is called Decryption. I'm not too sure how it all works. Oh, we can see in here actually, we go into the all bit. Shows events and vendors, that's cool. Okay, that's that's new as well. All right, accidentally discovering, discovering stuff. <laughs> but if we go into Featured, the Daily Ops is there, and the new mode is there, Decryption. Let's hop into it and see what it's all about. As well as public events, they pop up there too now, I guess. <laughs> what a timing that was. Alright, that's awesome, fuck yeah. Love quality of life improvements like that. Let's jump into it. Alright, and here we are, first time in the Daily Op. We're going full health with this, let's actually stop and see what it is. So, Daily Ops Decryption. So this is a new game mode, where we're going to have to do something entirely new. We've got... The location as the Wotoga Raider Arena. Now, if I'm not mistaken, that is the spot where Johnny, that Johnny guy takes you in the Raider's quest line, and he makes you that little slave fighter thing. Now, our enemy is the Scorched. I'm assuming this is actually going to be not entirely comprised of just Scorched humans, but Scorched uh, animals as well, which is going to be cool. Now, the mutations. We've got a new one here. Swift-footed, faster movement speed, and melee speed. That's going to be fun with this. <laughs> I'm just imagining some of the creatures running at me at mock speed and just like annihilating me. That's going to be so, so strange. Um, but the new default mutation is something that is completely opposite to our previous daily ops that we're used to. Now we're actually encouraged to sneak and uh, not try and tank their shots. So, Savage Strike. Deadly armor piercing attacks is what they do. And yeah, going to be a lot of fun. Let's, let's get into it. Oh, jeez. Yep, as he says right here. Take them out and bring us some privacy. Okay, so we're going to track and eliminate some enemies. Six. I'm assuming we've just got to kill literally six people and then it's done. Oh my god, look at those attacks. Look at that. That was off a dude holding a pipe pistol and my build's pretty, pretty bloody tanky. Oof. Okay. Just wanted to see if they were, how, how powerful they actually were. Alright. We're gonna have to talk to one of the data miners and see what's the actual uh what's the stats on that? What what's the armor penetration? Alright. No more messing around. We're gonna primarily be sneaking here and try and take out four more. Look how fast they run or walk. Hey fellow. Alright. Three more. Oh, this dog. <laughs> the dog won't die. What the shit? Oh, God. No, suicider. Oh, my God. He ran at me so quickly. One more. Where is he? Jeez, they hurt. They hurt. Do I have my sneak perks on? I don't think I do. I do. Jesus. It's off. All right, now I've got to eliminate a code carrier. There's one right here. Okay, thank you for running right at me. Alright, we're in hidden again. Alright. Calm. Calm. Uh, or we need to eliminate another one. There's two over here, I guess. Alright. Kill, 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 kill. Hey, fuckers. Ah, is it just... Oh, I killed both of them anyway. Alright, so I guess you got to kill all three of those, maybe? And now we've got to hold A on something. Disable any radio in Scepter. No. Okay, good. We're back into caution. Let's hold A on this little thingy. Disable. Alright. So far, so good. Two minutes in, and... Now what? 
Take out some hostiles. Try to track out the next code. Okay. So, okay, so it's just repeat. Look how fast this dog moves. <laughs> oh, no. No, 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 no. I'm getting chased by a suicide or I can see it. Oh, jeez. Where's the guy? There he is. Oh, my God. That's going to be an, a nightmare. I can't, I can't, do, I can't, I can't bat some. They're moving too quick, man. <laughs> Holy shit. Okay, this is going to be a, I can, the dog just ran like right through me. I can see this being a lot of fun when I'm playing with my friends. <laughs> I'm excited for this to come to the, uh, to the main game. Piss off, mate. Stop shooting me. Now what? Okay, yeah, literally repeat. Oh, that was not fun. <laughs> he bitch slapped me. Eliminate code carriers. How the fuck do I get down there quick? I've forgotten. This place is a mess. If you watched me stream when I uh, came in here the first time, I got lost. Alright, calm. Go slow. Okay, we only killed one that time. Oh jeez. Even the mosquitoes have armor pen. Okay, now we've got to take out the <clears throat> the second radio interceptor. I'm in danger, this is not good. Please stop. Stop. Back the fuck up, boys. Okay. Four minutes twenty in. <laughs> take out another group, okay. Last call, he says. Okay, we now have got to kill 10 enemies. Fucking mosquitoes. One more to go. Hurry up. There he is. Oh my god. Now kill a code carrier. Okay, so it's just rinse and repeat three times. I can see this getting repetitive, like if we're doing it day after day, but at least it's um it throws you off a little bit by having these enemies, you know, just around and about instead of you know the original daily ops where it's just fucking. Oh, hang on, is this the boss? Oh, this is the boss. Okay, I am going. What the shit is he shooting me with? What the fuck is that? What? <laughs> That's cool. What I was gonna say is it's um killing enemies is at least more uh you know, you're more engaged than just fucking defending a little circle and uh, holding A on a thing. Alright. We were so close, we would have got it in the elder rank solo first try. What weapon is that? He's wearing radar armor, which is interesting. Target eliminated, so is that it? We're done? Disable the final radio interceptor. So we've got to kill the boss and then do something else. I'm just gonna ignore everyone. Fuck you, fuck you, leave me alone please. No, danger. Disable it, just disable it, just disable it. We did it. Okay, we did it. <laughs> Fucking did it and died. That's that's a lot of fun, dude. That's actually pretty cool. Alright, that's gonna do it for this video, guys. Again, if you want to see me do more PTS videos or stuff, or if you want to see me go in depth on any particular subject that arises in the future or maybe something that we've seen in this video, then be sure to let me know in the comments. I will be more than happy to boot up the PTS and record video for you guys but aside from that I'm excited for the future of this game it seems like they're listening to us little by little and giving us quality of life things little by little and fixing things but you know like I've said this game needs uh it's a lot more of a makeover for it to be a uh considered a big improvement in my books but yeah I'm excited for these features the 
<laughs> these special loadouts is awesome. That is such a massive, massive thing to add into the game. I'm so excited for this right here. It, what makes you special? Definitely. I'm, I'm excited for this. Gonna make a hell of a lot of use out of that. I'm also excited for this camp thing. I'm not much of a camp builder, but this is just something so incredibly awesome to add to the game. Looking forward to it. As well as the daily ops. Daily ops, it's something you do daily. My, me and my friends always are doing it, and we're trying to get those fucking good, uh, unique plans for our characters, and sadly, to no avail because it's so rare. But it's going to be good to spice things up and have us do something different. And, yeah. So, overall, positive. I'm looking forward to all of this, and I hope you guys are as well. Big, big, big shout out to my channel members and Patreons. They're on screen right now. You guys are fucking legends. Thank you for supporting me and the channel. And as always, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to drop a like. If you're new here, then be sure to drop a subscribe and stay up to date with all of my future content. But aside from that, I've been Tia, and I'll catch us in the next one. Welcome to Valhalla.